scholars. So today I will be giving you a show and tell on fretted instruments. I will be giving you a brief history on where fretted instruments come from, as well as showing you some well-known instruments and the history behind them. I will also play a few songs on each instrument so you can hear how they sound. Let's start with a brief history of where fretted instruments come from. Modern day fretted instruments originated from Western European countries like Italy, Spain, and Portugal. These and other countries had their own version of a popular instrument called a lute. The term lute refers to various instruments that you pluck to make a sound. The lute is a variation of the oud, an instrument native to Arabic countries like Western Asia and North Africa. The main difference between an oud and a lute is that a lute uses frets. The fret on modern instruments are metal bars that go on the neck to separate notes. On lutes, they were designed like rubber bands that could be adjusted depending on the scale that you were using. The most common features on fretted instruments are strings, which you pluck to make a sound. They are stretched across the instrument. A headstock, where the strings are tightened or loosened to tune the instrument. The neck, where the frets are located. This is where the strings are pressed down to make different notes. The body, where the strings are plucked to make a sound. This part is where the sound comes out. And the bridge, where the strings are held down on the body. Now that we know where these instruments come from, let's start with talking about the most popular fretted instrument and the one that I use the most. So this is one of my many guitars. Most guitars have six strings and are tuned E, A, D, G, B, E. The guitar originated from Spain in the 16th century. Guitars come in a variety of sizes. Whether they are half-size guitars, which are made for smaller players, or full-size guitars, which is typically the normal size for a guitar. They all still have the same tuning in the same six strings. Something else that you commonly use to play a guitar is a pick, but you can also use your fingers to play as well. Along with coming in a variety of sizes, guitars also come in a variety of styles. This guitar that I'm holding here, which is the guitar that I usually use at school, is called an acoustic guitar. Some different styles of guitar include Thank you. 
So the next instrument we're going to talk about is actually an instrument that I picked up just a few years ago and I started using it for my band, The Fun Bunch. So the mandolin actually comes with eight strings. So the mandolin is tuned G, D, A, E, which is also the same tuning as a violin. The mandolin originated in Italy in the 18th century. So some of you might be asking, Mr. Bowman, why does it have eight strings but is only tuned to four notes? And the reason for this is because mandolins have something called coarse strings. This means that each note is doubled. This was done for the mandolin to increase the volume of the instrument because it is so small. Mandolins typically come in one size, but there are two very popular styles. The A style and the F style. The mandolin has also been used in many different styles of music. So the next instrument I'm going to talk about is one of my favorites, and I also have a bunch of them on my shirt. So the ukulele has four strings and is tuned G, C, E, A. The ukulele as we know it, but is usually pronounced ukulele, originated from Hawaii in the 19th century. The ukulele gained massive popularity in the United States in the 1900s. The ukulele uses something called a re-entrant tuning. This is where strings are not in order from lowest pitch to highest pitch. The ukulele comes in four different sizes. This ukulele is a concert size ukulele, but they also get smaller for, to a soprano, and they get two sizes bigger to a tenor and a baritone. Here are some popular songs on ukulele.
So the last instrument I'm going to talk to you about today is also another personal favorite. It's the first instrument that Mr. Bowman got to play in a rock band. The bass guitar has four strings tuned E, A, D, G. Those are also the same notes as on a guitar, but an octave lower. Bass guitars became popular in the 1950s when they were invented by a fellow named Leo Fender. Bass guitars were inspired by double basses, which are the very tall instruments that we see in the orchestra and the string section. Bass guitars were seen as a more portable and affordable way to still get the low notes and tones that you would want out of a double bass. Here are some popular bass lines that you might know. Alright scholars, well thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to hear a little bit more about fretted instruments and getting to hear the different sounds that they make. I miss you all very much. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.